Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going? So this is a recorded video. It's not it's not the live stream. So you can put the chat uh, today's video. But you can uh, put the comment below so that I can uh, read through. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please um, put your comments on the below box on the comment box. So today's Wednesday. So I will be talking about my strategy. It's called KTS, Case Trading Strategy. So in this month of November, I decided to take videos on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays with different topics. But all the rest of the days, I will do the live streams. So hopefully you can join my future lives too. So today's topic is about the multiple time frame analysis. Um, if you're not familiar with the multiple time frame analysis, um, that is actually, you know, simply, uh, as the word says, you look at the multiple time frames and take trades. But sometimes it might be confusing. Sometimes you might see a uh, uptrend on daily chart and downtrend in one hour chart and which one should should I pick will be, I think, the general question. Um, I used to have this question uh, in the beginning, uh, especially when I started, started my forex trades uh, back in uh, seven years ago. I was looking for the where to buy, where to sell was the main question for me. So I was looking at the multiple time frames, but I, I didn't know how to integrate all these time frames into my analysis. So I was struggling for the two years and uh, about five years ago, I studied Ichimoku and I started to use multiple time frame analysis by Ichimoku and then it actually clicked in my head. I got the light bubble in my head and ever since then, I have been profitable trader. So let me show you how I do the multiple time frame analysis by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today. So before starting anything here, just a quick disclaimer, this knowledge is basically based on my experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So, um, so let me see, here is the Euro USD chart and this is a daily chart. So as soon as I see this kind of market, I know that this is flat ranging because the Kumo flat Kijun Sen has been flat the whole time. So I won't take the daily chart to write on the trend because there is no trend in the market as per Ichimoku. So I compare the daily chart and the 4 hour chart. Maybe 4 hour chart might be uptrending. So let me see. So here is a 4 hour chart and all right, I can find that this is uptrending because now the uh, Senko Span B is up, Senko Span A is also up, Kijun Sen is also up, the angle is uptrending, Tenkan Sen is also uptrending too, nicely. Oops, hold on. Yep, Kijun Sen is up and also Tenkan Sen is also uptrending, Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a nice uptrend confirmation. So in this case, I won't take the daily chart because as we saw earlier, the daily chart is flat. But in this 4 hour chart, this is uptrending. So I take the 4 hour chart and I decide to write it on the trend of this 4 hour chart. So, so far so good. So once again, I look at the daily chart or 4 hour chart, either one of these time frames to capture the trend. And if I find one of these one of these time frames to be uptrending or downtrending, then I will take that time frame to write on the trend. So that means as long as the Kumo go up and Kijun Sen goes up this way, I keep trading, I keep trading the profit. Because I expect the market continue to go on this bullish in a wave like this. Because I see all the handle lines, all these Ichimoku lines are moving up, and that's why. I expect, I simply expect the market breaks the recent high upwards this way. And that's the case in the 4 hour chart. Right, on the daily chart, this is pretty much flat. So I won't look for any buying, buying edges and lower time frames. But in 4, I can still see that this is uptrending. So I will still look for the buy chance in lower time frame. However, I don't simply place a buy here because um, the market might go down. 
um, because we are only seeing the forward chart structure, but on the lower time frames, as you can see here, um, it's been consolidating for a while. So in four, I find that as per Ichimoku lines, this is uptrending, so I can expect sooner or later the price should go up. However, the market is consolidating now in lower time frames, so that's why I'll confirm the lower time frame trend also. I want the lower time frames to be uptrending also to look for the buy chance because I don't want to get caught by these retracements. So let me show the one hour chart for example. Alright, so here is one hour chart and let's see. So right now, okay, so this is uptrending also because we can see that the Senko Span B is moving up, Senko Span A is up, and Kijun Sen angle is also uptrending too. Chiko Span is slightly above the candle still, so this is still uptrending confirmation. So now I confirm the uptrend on one hour chart too. And this is when I look at the lower time frames, either 15 or 5 minute chart to look for the buying edge. Of course, I won't look for the sell chance because the market is uptrending now. However, what if the one hour chart goes flat? What if one hour chart becomes flat like this, Kijun Sen go flat, and uh, Senko Span B and Senko Span A both flat? What if the market is looking like this? Then uh, I, I expect that the market might come back to Kijun Sen or Kumo in this case. So that means it might retrace backwards to Kijun Sen or Kumo. And that's why I don't look at look for the buying edge in lower time frames when these lines are flat. However, when the lines are moving up, when um, Senko Span BA, Kijun Sen all uptrending, then most likely the market will break the recent high upwards this way. So to expect this move, to expect this breakout, I look for the trading edge in lower time frames, 5 or 15 minute time frame. I look for the buy chance. But if the Kijun Sen is flat, and if the Kumo is flat, then I won't look for buy chance because it might be retracing backwards. So once again, uh, in the forward chart, I find that this is uptrending, so I expect the market moves on this bullish new wave like this. This is my expectation. But I don't simply place a buy right now because I want to look at the lower time frames, one hour chart or 30 minute chart and see if one of these time frames are uptrending also. Because I don't want to get caught by this retracement along the way. So I look at the one and I confirm this uptrend. So that's why I will look at look for the buying edge to buy here because in this case I still expect the market to go up this way. But while I'm looking for the buy chance in lower time frames, if the Kijun Sen goes flat and if the Kumo also go flat this way, then I will stop looking for the buy chance anymore because the market might go down, retrace backwards afterwards. So multiple time frame is very important to uh, to take trades because um, you know even if you see uptrending forward chart or daily chart or higher time frames, even if the market looks to be uptrending, um, the lower time frames might be downtrending or ranging. And in that case, you don't want to look for buy chance because in the lower time frames, it's either consolidating or ranging, so it might go down. It might go down. No matter how strong it looks to be uptrending on higher time frames, in the mid time frames, it might go down, and it might affect the whole like higher time frames to be bearish also. So always make sure to look for the uptrend in the lower time frames as well. And that's the essence of the multiple time frame analysis. And I do this by Ichimoku 5 lines. So now I find that this is uptrending, so I expect the market go up still continuously. So I look at the lower time frames. So let me take the 15 minute chart, 
let me delete this uh, horizontal line for now and I look at the multiple um, indicators so first I see that there is a gold cross of uh, stochastics so that will be one of the confirmations to buy and let's see what else I can find I think this level might be one of the Fibonacci lines so let me see I will take the low and high and see if this was one of the Fibonacci lines so let me place it right now and yeah um, looks like the market was supported by this 61.8% Fibonacci line like uh, there were a couple of supports in the past so in this case I expect the market go up on this bullish end wave and that's why this was the second confirmation to buy and I will look for one more confirmation to buy I will I usually I take at least three confirmations to buy so so far I found a stochastic gold cross Fibonacci bounce and I look for another confirmation to buy and if I find more than three confirmations then I take a buy and I expect the market go up this way because I have already confirmed the uptrend in higher time frames for our chart and then I confirmed it in one hour chart so I expect the market go upwards but it doesn't happen always um, sometimes the market is the market goes backwards so if it does let's say I take a buy here and my stop loss in this case will be below the recent low which will be at this level this will be the stop loss let me delete this uh, Fibonacci line for now so so once again I expect the market go up but there it, it, there might be some double top scenario for example and the market does not renew the higher and it may go down this way and it might go reverse in the wave like this way in this case when it happens for example then if I look at the one hour chart it should be flat by then or even four hour chart might go flat at that time so that will be the um, you know timings to exit exit I will exit here if I see the reverse in waves on this lower time frame and also uh, if I find the four hour chart to be flat already then I will exit here and I will look for one more confirmation for exit so that was um, double top on the high double top on the high and if I find this reverse in wave then I will exit here so exit timing and uh, entry timing I capture it in lower time frames 15 or 5 minute chart today um, this was a demonstration by 15 minute chart but uh, realistically I take the 5 minute chart also and I compare in between these time frames but once it goes backwards against my scenario then I will just take it out soon even before the price hit the stop loss I take it out soon so that I can minimize the risk still and as I keep doing this way of trace um, you know the market will break towards my direction eventually and then I you know I win big and this big win can cover up all these small losses in the past and that's this is the idea of multiple time frame analysis so if you're still not really familiar with the multiple time frame analysis then I recommend you to take the daily chart or four hour chart and use the Ichimoku 5 lines to capture the trend direction and then you can go on the lower time frames to capture further the confirmations and I have actually presented this one this strategy uh, on my KTS PDF so um, hold on if you um, if you are new to my channel I have created the PDF well actually this was as to um, as per uh, traders requests I have created this PDF so and this is download downloadable for free for anyone you can click on the link below description and um, you can download this PDF so if you scroll down a little bit you can find this uh, three time frame categories so you take either daily or four to capture the major trend 
and once you confirm this major trend direction, then take the mid time frames, either 1 or 30, to be uptrending or downtrending, and then you capture the trading edge by 15 or 5 minute chart. So yeah, make sure you get the PDF and join my future lives in my YouTube channel. And this is something that I use on my daily analysis and take trace, and this is something that I teach on this GTS class. This is a global trading school, and this is only up to 5 members for the 3 month extensive intensive educational uh, trading. So um, the next one is going to be in next January 2021 and the seed is actually almost full. So if you're still interested to join this uh, global trading school, then once again the link is also in the description below. So you can click on that one and see all the details and see what you can expect from this session. So let me um, let me do a recap of uh, tomorrow what I will be talking about. So tomorrow is Thursday, so I will do another live on Thursday. So on Thursday, I will do the Ichimoku analysis. So rather than focusing on these multiple time frames, I will pick up the daily chart or the weekly chart and I will present how I view the market by Ichimoku itself. But on this uh, Friday, there will be KTS analysis. So on Friday, I will do the market analysis by KTS with a multiple time frame analysis. And if I find, if I happen to find some trendy market, then I will go down to lower time frames, and hopefully um, I can talk about uh, where to buy, where to sell in that real time market. So hopefully you can uh, join these lives, and I do these lives every day. Well, actually. Uh, I, these, I do these lives on Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So hopefully, I will see you on the next live. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please press a good button before you leave. So, so that it keeps me going. And also, uh, you can uh, click on the subscribe button. And click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. Alright everyone, thank you for watching until the end, so I will hope to see you on the next one. So until I see you, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now, matane, thank you.